Welcome back to our 2020 video series where you'll find 20 tips throughout the year on how to be more financially healthy. You might have noticed that I'm shooting this video from a little bit of a different location. I'm actually inside my wife and I's new Honda CRV that we bought about six weeks ago. And the reason I'm shooting this video inside my car is today I want to give you my six tips for how to get a better deal on your next set of wheels. All right, now our first step is first figure out how much car you can actually afford before you start shopping. Now, most people, when they think about buying a car, they think about the purchase price and they think especially just about that monthly payment. Okay, how much is this car gonna cost me if I'm gonna finance it? But there's so much more that goes into owning a vehicle. You have to pay for gas, you have to pay for insurance, you need to pay for maintenance, you need to factor in depreciation, your registration renewals. There are a lot of costs that actually go into figuring out how much a car is going to cost you. So before you even do shopping, start by figuring out, okay, how much can I reasonably afford? Now, most people will say that you should keep your transportation costs at 20% or less of your take home pay. Now, if you're not sure how to calculate that cost, we have an awesome calculator that we're linked in the description and we'll put the link in the video as well that you can use to figure out that total cost of owning that car. Our second tip takes you back to your school days. Do your research. Now, buying a car is a major purchase and you wanna put a lot of time, thought, effort, and energy into it. You wanna read reviews. You wanna check out the dealerships that you're considering purchasing from. Check out the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration and their safety recalls. Read resources like Consumer Reports. Check out the value of vehicles you're considering buying by using NADA or Kelly Blue Book. And if you need help doing that research, we have an awesome auto buying resource called The Lot where you can shop inventory from local dealerships, access Carfax reports, and help you have a much more enjoyable car shopping experience. Do your research before you ever go visit a dealership. Our next tip is test drive multiple vehicles and don't buy a car on the same day that you test drive it. There is a lot of power in getting behind the wheel of a car and actually taking it for a test drive. You can see yourself buying it, you can see yourself in it, it may have, it has that new car smell. And there's a reason that dealerships want you to take that test drive, because they know that you're more likely to purchase a vehicle if you do. So we recommend do multiple test drives, test out multiple vehicles, and wait 24 to 48 hours before pulling the trigger on the car that you fall in love with. The reason is if you wait that 24 to 48 hours, you're more likely to make a wise financial decision. You won't make an emotional rush decision out of the thought of, oh no, am I gonna lose this car? Is somebody else going to buy it? Take your time. Test drive multiple vehicles and take a little bit of a break before you actually pull the trigger on that purchase. Our next tip is to get pre-approved before you shop. And this is where Canopy Credit Union can come in. We have awesome loan officers who can help you get that pre-approval letter. And there are a lot of reasons why you wanna start shopping with that pre-approval letter in hand. First and foremost, it puts you in a prime negotiating position. You've already had the conversation about how much car you can afford, you know what purchase price you're approved for, and you're probably gonna have an idea of what that monthly payment is gonna look like before you even visit a dealership and look at vehicles. So have that pre-approval in hand, it's gonna put you in a better negotiating position, help you get a better overall deal on a car. Our next tip is to negotiate. Now this is something that can be a little bit intimidating when you're out there shopping for vehicles, but dealerships expect it and you should too. One of the most powerful questions that you can ask in that car buying process is, is this the best you can do on this vehicle? Can you do any better for me? And if you do that and you leave just a couple seconds of silence, then it's likely that a better offer may come your way. So get comfortable with that idea of negotiating, embrace it, and know that you're out there to get the best possible deal that you can for yourself. So be prepared, be prepared to negotiate. Our last tip is to buy at the end of the month. Now this is a little bit a different one. Not a lot of people are aware of it, but there's a pretty specific reason why you might wanna consider buying a vehicle towards the end of the month or the end of a year. It's because dealerships are looking to move more inventory around that time. Their month is closing. They're trying to make sure they get in as many sales as possible in a month or a year. So you may be able to get a better deal because of your timing and being able to wait. And in fact, being able to wait and not being in a rush on this purchase is something that's really gonna help you get a better deal as well. So if you're looking to buy a car, wait till the end of the month, you're much more likely to get a better deal. Now we hope these tips have been helpful. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Instagram to get all of our financial education videos throughout the year. And if you need assistance with that car buying process, we have awesome loan officers who will help you have a good experience and make sure you get the absolute best possible deal that you can. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll catch you next time.